Hello and welcome to Nanny Moon's Crochet. My name's Sally and it's Monday the 21st of October 2024 and this is episode number 41. I've just have started and said it's 2023. <laughs> I don't know why I said 2023 but that's lost a, a year. 2024. <laughs> now, um, yesterday the 20th was one of my grandson's birthday and he was eight so hi Cole happy birthday hope you had a lovely day love you and um, that's for little Cole <laughs> um sorry the dogs are pit pattering about if you hear little pitter pattering they're just you're about aren't you yes you are just quickly say hello this is Suki we don't this is my little dog you don't don't very often get to see little Suki do we hello I know yes I know I know She's a good little girl. Aren't you going to say hello? Just say hello to my friends. Hello. Just say hello. No, I know you want to say hello to me. Just say hello. Oh, you're loving goodly, aren't you? Yeah. Go and lie in your bed. That's little Suki. <laughs> I think you lie down, darling. Right, so, um, oh, excuse me doing that. Um, as usual, I'll start with the 3D squares. Sorry, I haven't said welcome to you all. Welcome to you all. Hope you're all doing okay. Uh, hope the weekend was okay for you. And if it wasn't okay, I hope, you know, this week can only get better. So we had a storm, storm Ashley, I think it was, and we didn't have bad rain, but the winds were, oh, 60, 70 miles an hour wind last night. <clears throat> oh it was windy anyway um it's all quite calm this morning so we're all okay now uh natasha hi natasha hope you're okay um started she's going to do a 3d cow a, a crochet along with this 3d granny square book and i show it every week it's it's a lovely book i definitely wouldn't if you're a beginner i definitely wouldn't start with this some of the squares are quite straightforward <coughs> where you do excuse me some of the squares we've done the rabbit some of the squares you just start off with a circle and then you square it off which is the instructions are quite okay turn it into a square then you add these little bits on some squares are like that but then the stitch count might be out or it might say it's US terms, so it might say single crochet instead of might say double crochet instead of single crochet. Um, you do get a chart, which I found very very useful because some of the patterns have been, if to read them they just didn't make sense at all. They've been really challenging, but anyway, we're getting through them, and. Last week, <coughs> Natasha chooses every Monday, she chooses at random, so last week was the frog and the sunflower. So, this book is by three designers, there's a hundred, and it's by Katie Moore, Shana Moore and Celine Simon. Pop up granny squares. Um so this was the frog which looked straightforward you did the green circle then changed it into the blue bluey color and then these bits were separate <coughs> excuse me i haven't had a drink yet uh should have had a cup of tea or coffee first um anyway this is my square <laughs> he's got one leg thicker than this one um, oh, I, th I did this one and it was quite, let me have a look, the front leg, it was, uh, was it two single crochet, eight stitches, oh yeah, it was just, it was eight single crochets around, but then you dropped down to six and four, <clears throat> so this was very, it was really quite difficult. Well, it wasn't difficult. It was just fiddly. So when I came to do this one, I thought I'm just going to do it looser, and I, 
I did it a lot, lot looser. So that's why, that's why he's got one. But the feet were lovely to do, and these weren't too bad to do. And the eyes were just um, magic circles, more or less. That's it. So that's my little frog. So he he wasn't too difficult. It was just a little bit fiddly on the legs, but yeah, I quite like that one. And then I'm just using uh, that was pistachio green, pistachio, and the blue was just random, uh, just a new new craft. I think this is a new craft yarn, just a random bit that I had. So that's that. <clears throat> and then the second one that she chose. I love sunflowers and my favourite flower was the sunflower. So really looking forward to doing that. And there wasn't many instructions, look, just, just this little bit here. So this was my sunflower. And that square, I think, is my favourite so far. It was just so easy to do. There was a few, you can't really see them, but there was a few little puff stitches in the middle. Then you did one round of the yellow. Then you squared it off, made it into a square. And then you'd worked into the back loops on this one round. So then in the front loops, you added these on. But um, that was really, really easy to do. Lovely and straightforward. And I'd love to make something with those. <clears throat> if not a blanket, you know, a bag or something or a cushion. I just love doing those. And I love, like I said, I love sunflowers. So I have to make something with those now because it's a Monday morning and Natasha's video is up um, so if you pop along and watch her channel you'll see her pick the next the next two squares which are page 11 Ooh. we've got the coffee mug and it's funny we were just saying um, we were flipping through because we're halfway through now. So this will be number number 50. And the next one will be number 51. So um, we're halfway through. And I was looking through and I was saying, oh, look at the coffee mug. That's a nice one. I'd like to do that one. And then she picked that one. So that was, uh, what do you call it? Manifestation <laughs> at its best. <coughs> and oh, oh no, they're not page 18. And also the waffle, a little blob of cream, <laughs> raspberry of cream, and strawberry rather, not a raspberry. So we've got those the coffee cup and the waffle. Lovely. So I'm going to show you those next week see how I get on and to add those to the pile they're building up now because like I said we're halfway through so we've done 50 49 and 50 they were so that's that and the next thing is it under here oh yep yeah. The next thing I want to talk about is um, this crochet long. It's a year of the granny square with Jenny from uh, In My Spare Time. Morning, Jenny. Um, so this is just 52 granny squares, one a week. And this week we were on The French Garden. I know a lot of you have seen this book. It's by Kylie Maletta. And um, it's a lovely book. There's a few projects in it that you can do. It shows you a few projects. And look at that. Beautiful. <coughs> Love the colours in that. Really nice. 
and then there's a frosty pillow it's lovely too so all these squares will be coming we'll be doing so this week it was the like i said the french garden and they used a four millimeter hook and this is my square um and I'd normally i try and do it in similar colors but the this bright color i'm using starcraft special dk and this bright color for me in special dk starcraft special dk would be a saffron but the saffron is a colour that I'm using in my temperature blanket. So I thought, save, whoops, save buying any more. I wanted to save my saffron for the temperature blanket. So I just, I've got the lemon. So it's, I've got wisteria, this purpley colour. Um, spring green is the light green and lemon is that. So I quite like this square. It was, uh, you did a crossover here so that was unusual it's a colour change at every every row but i don't mind sewing in ends and and sewing up things like that i just think if you've if you've took the time to crochet something the the weaving in the ends and joining and all of that is like making it complete and making it nice and safe and secure so i don't mind doing that at all um, so that was my square. So I really like doing that one. What have I put? I always write. I've got um, I've got a little book here, and I always write notes. But very nice square to make. I would make it again. Some of them, I wouldn't. Uh, most of them. All the polyanthus I got a bit. I wouldn't make again because that was a bit difficult so I wouldn't make that one again but that one I definitely would because I really liked that one um, and then next week we have um, the golden halo so that's next week and then I think that's the last one and then we move into the summer the summer category so it's it this is spring it's in categories so the first the first few are spring then we move into summer then fall or autumn and then winter and then it shows you projects um so this is golden halo next week will be the last one in the spring section so that looks looks a nice one to do it's uh, oh yes it's a skill level one so that should be fine that one was a skill level two and that was okay that was nice to do but so that looks very intricate but it must be quite straightforward because it's just a skill level one i always use a four millimeter hook for those um even though sometimes it will say different on one or two it's told to use a um four millimeter i just noticed on four millimeter there was one of them i won't find it now you watch oh yes the tulip bowl that one that we did which was number seven told you to use a 3.5 millimeter hook but that one came really small so I need to add a couple of rounds to it because it was really small so that's my square done and this is our must be a little bundle but let me show you the one the one that told you to use a a three and a half hook it's small look compared to whoops compared to this this is one i did last week look it's a lot smaller see if i hold it there see so um i'm actually just going to go one more round just to make it up the size so we're doing we're doing well with those whoops put those all back so that one's that one will be added to me pile 
not sure really yet what to do with them. I might be nice as a big blanket, I think, but I might do smaller projects. I haven't really decided yet. So when I, de when I decide what I need to do, I'll let you know. But plenty more to go yet. So loads of time to decide what to do. That book goes with that. So that's that. Now, now, um, I hope you're not going to laugh at this. <laughs> I, if you remember, last week I got this. I bought this King Cole price wise Christmas double knitting, and the colour was Twirly Santa. I love, I like anything that looks like Christmas, I just love. And when I saw Twirly Santa, I thought, you just can't lot, can you? How can you not buy Twirly Santa? Um, it's 100 gram and it's 100% acrylic and 308 yards and 282 metres. I just thought I wanted to, I only bought one ball and I just thought I wanted to do something with it. Um, I thought for baubles really, but then when I realised the baubles have lovely drop down spike stitches it wasn't going to work it's all mingled into one so i was looking through my christmas books and i found this one this is an Annie, annie's book annie's crochet um now it was did it say in the back i was trying to look when it was it was um it's a 2020 published in 2020 so i'm sure you could still get it i'm sure you can still get it on amazon and things the big book big book of christmas crochet so oh i love those boots those little slippers so these are the little elves look here so there's 31 festive designs for the holidays i'll just show you on the back so love love all of those things anyway so i decided i just happened to be looking through and i saw these three whoops hang on come on end up for me these three and you see this one i just thought oh look a bit odd they didn't have a face but i thought oh, i might add a face but I saw this colourway here, and these are done in Plymouth Yarn Encore in DK, DK, which my Christmas swirly Santa was. Um, they it doesn't does it's version one two version four. Oh, that the that one is made in Merry, Merry. Um, anyway, so I thought I'd got that. Then the green I'd got Starcraft Special DK in just green. And then for the face, I've got this Yarn Smiths Create double knitting. And this is called Oatmeal. And I thought, oh, that would be nice for the face. So I got all I needed. Uh, what hook did I use? I used a 3.5 millimeter hook and now please don't laugh don't laugh at his face because it's it's just for me it'll just be a little christmas ornament you know a little ornament for the shelf or under the you know under the tree so that that's this is the body like i said but and the nice little hat and the scarf but oh anyway <laughs> oh it looks like a little piggy now i'm looking at it so this was the body and you worked what did you do um hang on it must have been the back loops yeah all of this was in the back loops um till you i've sewn the scarf on so it didn't come off and then you changed to this color but you still did the the back of it in that you did the little face and then his little hat 
the arms were meant to be done in like a Tunisian crochet, but I hadn't didn't really know what they were talking about. So I thought I'd just chained 20 or something and just did two rows of single crochet and then just made me little own little hand on the bottom and sewed them in. Sort of might just did that my own way. But it'd be perhaps... <laughs> I don't know if it's smart, right? But the ears, I wasn't sure. I just made that pattern up. But I think you can tell because they look a bit like little pig's ears. They look like a little pig. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, it just made me laugh. It made me smile. So I thought, well, that's my little elf. That's what I made with me twirly Santa. And he does stand up. He does stand up lovely. I might make another one so he's got a friend. <laughs> That's the lady friend. Oh dear. Anyway, so that's my little. Yeah, because I've got, got plenty more of that. So I could do the same the same thing again, but just do a different colour. Just do a different colour scarf, maybe. <laughs> oh, it makes me laugh when I look at that. So that's, that's a good thing. It makes me smile. So that's that. Now. The next thing I want to show you, it's really strange. I was watching uh, the lovely Marsha on Mimi Makes Keepsakes. Hi, Marsha. And she was showing, she'd made, um, it's, did he, did I have the pattern? No, I haven't got the pattern. It's, did he... It's like a little, this little dragon, Diggy, Diddy Dex, the little dragon. It's a palm-sized snuggler. And if you watch her channel, um, her husband had made some lovely eggs on a, I think it was a 3D printer. And these eggs were beautiful. They changed colour and everything. And these little, these little dragons fit into the little eggs. If you go and watch that episode... Um, it's Mimi makes keepsakes, um, and she's lovely Marsha as well. So if you if you go, you'll see exactly. Anyway, she was doing these lovely little dragons, and I bought this. As you know, if you saw my Aldi haul, I bought this um, this yarn from Aldi, um, and I thought, oh, what lovely. Little dragon would be lovely to make in that. And then I'd made that. And then yesterday um, I was watching Jenny, hi Jenny, um, in my spare time, a roundup of the week of what she'd been up to. And I couldn't believe it that she'd made, she'd watched Marsha as well. And she'd made little Dex the dragon. Well, isn't that so funny? Anyway, um, so this is my little dragon. Oh, isn't he so cute? It's his tail. It says you can knot the tail to be like snuggly, the proper sn snuggle, you know. But I thought, no, I won't do that because it's nice to, you know, I thought I could dang, not dangle him, but, you know. But it's not stuffed, so it makes it all cute. That's his little wings. His wings were lovely to make. I like making his wings. And his ears, everything. That was surface crochet on there. So that was fine. And we've got little green eyes. I think they were 12 millimeter eyes. And I used a, a 6 millimeter hook. The pattern... Is by Jodie Chadwick and it's Diddy Dex the Palm Size Snuggler. It's by Jodie Chadwick and I had the pattern off Etsy, handmade by Jodie. Um, because I just thought it was a six millimeter hook, but for the little horns, they were DK and they were a two and a half millimeter hook. I just thought it, when uh, Marsha made her, they just looked so, so snuggly and absolutely gorgeous to, to wrap. Isn't that just so cute? Um, anyway, 
uh, Jenny was saying the tail was just too fiddly, not hard, just fiddly because it was four single crochets all that all the way. But I started off with four and I've got a feeling I went into a stitch twice. So I've got a feeling I ended up with five single crochets. I think the tail's a little bit bigger. So doing the five, it wasn't quite so bad. So I think I'd I'd definitely make it again. And that the little feet, the little feet, it's just all so so cute. Absolutely love it. Just look how it fits in the palm of your hand like that. Look at that little face. So oh, I loved it. I think I'd do. Perhaps the tail looks a bit thick. I don't know, but. I might try and do four single crochet, but I'm sure when I got to the end, I'd got five, I think I'd gained a stitch. So maybe that's why it wasn't so bad for me to do, because I'd gained a stitch. Um, but that's here. I just absolutely love that. So I've put the safety eyes in, so I'm not sure. It'd probably be a little Christmas present for somebody, I think. Anyway, it, it, I did love the pattern, and it's... It's a flat body. The only thing you stuff is the head. So, um, and the wings were lovely. So, as I've got all the colours in the Aldi yarn, I've got the pink and the pink variegated and blue and the blue variegated. Um, I might possibly make some more because that's, I just think it's too cute. And that was, like I said, with the, with the Aldi green stripe and green. And these are 95 metres, but I've used hardly any of that. And not, e not probably not even half of the green. Um, this is a super bulky number six. And I'd recommend a six millimetre hook, but in the pattern, um, it's, oh yeah, six millimetre hook is what I used, but it, it was all okay. There's, because you don't stuff it, I don't suppose it, it doesn't need to be so, so tight because there's no stuffing to show through. So that's what I did with that. Oh, I love him so much. There's a little cute. <laughs> so that was that. But uh, such a coincidence, I think, that um, me and Jenny had seen Marsha's YouTube and thought it was so nice that we'd make it. So I thought that was funny. Um, lastly... Where's my donut? Where's my donut gone? There it is. We'll move on to the crochet along that I'm running and it's crochet donut buddies. You get 50, 50 little, can't wait to do this lady and that looks so cute. Um, oh, that's a lot of, that's a lot of little curly curly cues do we call them um yeah so anyway um i've been doing this crochet along i've bought this book in 2022 and it was 13 pound 33 but i think it's still the same price I'm sure it's still the price on amazon and basically you Oh, it's getting a bit worn and tattered. Basically, you <coughs> you do the basic donut, whatever, whatever. Say the cow. Say the cow there. You do the base in the oatmeal colour. It always tells you on the pattern. The donut basic donut pattern. Create the donut base in parchment and the icing in white, omitting the sprinkles. And then these are the, the oddments that you put on, like the horns and the ears. So at the front of the book, it shows you how to do the basic donut pattern. So you do that in whatever colour that it suggests in the pattern. And then when you've you 20 chain join it together and then increase then decrease and then you do the icing 
it's same sort of thing but then halfway you do different stitches to make the drips and you, uh, unless you want an actual donut then you omit the sprinkles anyway um so last week i drew the zebra which was classed as a three donut so that was the zebra oh lots of black and white i thought but the only actual black and white striping was the ears so the base was black and the icing was white and then you did um, the separate things so where's my Second, I'll get my <clears throat> tablet to show the lovely ladies that are participating. Also, um, Natasha's done hers as well. She's participating and she'll show hers on her Monday episode. So if you go to her channel, you'll see her donut as well. So the first one we've got is off the lovely Mary. Morning, Mary. And she uses Starcraft Special DK um, in black and white. And she said she didn't put the mane, you know, the little mane on top because it looked fine as it was. Uh, and like me, Mary didn't put all the stripes and triangles and things because it just looked too much. I mean, on the book. You know there's more triangles here and here and here and but it said do it up it said in the little it always gives you a little uh what did it say sew the zebra stripes and triangles onto the face placing the stripes and triangles however you choose so i've always said with these just do them once you've got the basic donut you can do do whatever you like can't you you know don't don't think it's got to be exactly the same so that was the lovely mary thank you mary for that and this next one is from the lovely jan morning jan and that's hers now jan is using the katona i think it's is it sheep g's katona and she hadn't got black so she's used brown and like a lemony colour, but you can get brown uh, zebras. I was discussing that with Natasha the other day because she's used brown as well. But you can get a brown striped zebra. Did I say camel before? Oh, I don't think I did. I say camel. I meant zebra. Um, and so she's used the brown, but it it still isn't it cute. And the little eyes, embroidered eyes. I love how they different people embroider their eyes differently, but they always look so cute and little eyebrows look so thanks, Jan. Um so that's lovely. And then Mary always embroiders her eyes as well, because if you've got to gift them, you don't know what age group, do you? So thank you, ladies, for those two. Um, this is my little zebra. So I did I did do the little bit of mane there. Now, as you can see, I don't know. There's meant to be. There's meant to be two big stripes and a little triangle, but because my ears were maybe too, too close together, when I put my two stripes here, there wasn't really room for a triangle. So I did this little triangle. And this little triangle and i thought oh if the third one didn't go there then you were meant to do two smaller ones and i thought well a zebra is stripey so i'll do a few more stripes but then there didn't seem room so i just thought <laughs> i got to the, these were just chain 20 and fasten off and so on but i just thought oh i don't know I'd, you know you just done so many stripes and little triangles and I thought well it looks quite like a zebra to me <laughs> so I just left it at that I'm trying to I'm trying to get my eyes a little bit better I keep experimenting with different style different areas to put the little white bit and but anyway that's my little zebra 
and that was did i say that was a that was a three that was a three donut rating so i'm hoping this week we have a one donut rating so it's just not quite too difficult so here it is the big bag of balls which is getting a lot lot smaller uh i've still got a good a good few to go though yet so oh let's hope it's something not too not too different well they're not difficult they're just some sometimes a little bit fiddly all these little bits aren't they so i've gone right to the bottom and i've got the triceratops on page 42 do that so I don't put it back in triceratops on page 42 oh my goodness I just I have a feeling there's a lot of I don't know try oh no he's all right um he's a three donut rating and that's him so there's only horns and the muzzle and that little bit and then real base it says here i'll just read the it says the donut follow the basic donut pattern to create the donut base in petrol the bluey color and for the icing in grass green, omitting the sprinkles. If using safety eyes, place them between the frill and the base. Um, so, the frill and the base. So, yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I was... A, so you must make you do still make the donut in this petroly colour and the green but then you do this is how you must do this to sew on afterwards so that, that should be fine the base in icing and the, yeah the icing in grass green so you're still doing your donut as usual but then you do the frill base and the frill top Fasten off, cut yarn and weave it in. Sew the frill at the back of the donut securely so that the top of the frill is above the donut. Yes, that's what you do, so that's not too bad. So you make your donut and then this frill here, you, um, you make separately and stitch on. So that won't be so bad. And this book is by Rachel Zane. lovely book but if yeah just join in if you want to when if you do you don't have to do them every week just as and when you can if you just do the odd one that's fine you can just send me the photo if you like if you want me to show it then i'll show it but um i know with christmas coming up um i know jan said you know she's got a few christmas presents that she wants to be making so she'll do them as and when she can which is which is absolutely absolutely great you know it doesn't it really doesn't matter it's not um it's not uh sorry the the, the tv's on there and it was a bit loud <laughs> the lady protesting about something so that's that's about it for this week um i'll be back wednesday i've been making a project with the snug as a bug the yarn smith smug snug snug as a bug so i'm all almost finished that so i'll be back with that and later this afternoon my husband's been having really bad trouble with one of his his left leg it's been so so painful and i don't know if i said but we went to the hospital the other week well the doctor sent him to a and e and he had it x-rayed and he had um what did he have he had an x-ray nothing was broken and he also had a blood test so he's there was no clots his blood was flowing flowing freely but it's been in absolute agony for him and it, it's not like him to not be able to walk about at all so 
we think it's his sciatic nerve now so this afternoon he's going we've got to go to the hospital to see um a spine specialist so if it's your sciatic nerve it comes from your spine doesn't it so hopefully he'll be out of pain because he's been in so much pain um i feel a bit useless when you can't do anything other than making a cup of tea or giving him tablets uh anyway i'll um i'll go now so i've got a video on wednesday the wool warehouse wednesday coming up and i just hope you all have a good week and whatever you're doing and whoever you're doing it with have have a lovely time uh try and love each other and be kind and if you're going through a rough patch at the moment just hang on in there there's always a a greater picture and a bigger plan you know i think there's always everything happens for a reason so just hang on in there and you'll be fine so i'm going to see doc this oh goodness me we got the tv it's the dogs oh dear me um so i'm going to pop and see doc this afternoon when my husband's been to the hospital just to let her know so yeah have a lovely lovely week well week until wednesday i'll see you on wednesday love each other and be kind love you all see you on wednesday bye